Hello, everyone. All right, make sure that sound is down there just a little bit. Okay, or the music at least. Anyway, go back up. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and scroll back up. Let's start with Kenny. Hello, Kenny. And Garoon and Charlotte. Hello, hello. Cat Ruthie. Hello. Let's see who else. And Cat or Evelyn. Hello, hello. Nelly. Hello. Tracy. Hello. Miranda. Mona. Hello, hello. And Joanne and Shell. Hello, Shell. We are going to color this one. I want to say it's bundle three. I want to say it's bundle three. Let's take a look real quick. It is. Bundle two. It was bundle two, not bundle three. Yeah, bundle two. All right, let's pop that back up. Okay, and then, <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the stream. Let's see. Oh, sounds good, Nelly. Let's see. Ashley, yay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Joanne, Jennifer. Let's see. Make sure I'm with Cindy. Hello, Mary, hello. Uh, oh, and it's Steve. Hi, Steve. Let's see. Oh, wait, what's going on with Kenny? I missed something. What's going on with Kenny? <laughs> uh, let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. All right, Cindy. Hello. Okay, I think. And Shy. Hello, Shy. Oh, and Caroline. Hello. Romy. Hello. Lossie. Hi, Lossie. Yes, he's got his own username and everything. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. Oh, Suzanne. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our coloring family. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like, I know you're Evelyn, but I've called you Cat since I've known you. So, yeah, I just call you Cat, I suppose. <laughs> Um, so we have had a very big weekend, Mary and Tanya, your pictures were looking gorgeous. I was in the tail end of Vicky's, um, cause I definitely didn't stay up late last night. This is non-Victorian, but my first Christine Karen page, I stayed up late last night finishing this one cause I couldn't help it. Um, the lovely cat gifted me this book and I was so excited. I had to color page right away. So I did this one yesterday. Um, but anyway, it has been a busy, busy, busy weekend. Let's see. So we had Monia early, early this morning, or at least early, early my time. Um, yep, Steve Illustrator. <laughs> um, let's see. And, and for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Steve is my hubby who joins me on stream. He was here for the last one. Cat! Thank you, Cat. Can we get some hypes in chat for Cat? Oh, and I have these emotes all ready to go to say hi. Can we get some hypes? there or if you don't have the emotes you can type exclamation point hype if i could type oh my goodness thank you steve illustrator <laughs> i need to make steve illustrator a mod I should do that um thank you so much cat great great way to start off the stream um but yes yeah, so we had monia early this morning and then we had um vicky and tanya and mary now myself and then we're gonna have monia after this at Four. So we're going to go for two hours today, not, you know, a full, uh, <laughs> full four hours like I did before. Of course, Shy. Yeah, he hasn't really been in chat, Allison, but he's he's been on my, you know, normally if I'm doing a daytime stream, he's with the kids or, you know, he's, he's doing something else. But he did color a dress. Lozzie, this is Steve's dress. Steve colored a dress, yes or no? Yesterday, day before yesterday. I didn't, I didn't stream yesterday. <laughs> um, and then after Monia, uh, we'll follow up with Belinda for another three hours. So we still have two more uh, great streamers here. Tara Lynn, thank you, Tara Lynn. Can we get some hypes in chat for Tara Lynn? Oh my goodness, you all got me all grinning ear to ear over here. Thank you, Tara Lynn. There you go, exclamation point hypes. <laughs> There we go. Aw, thank you, everyone. You guys are so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see, I feel like, okay, so we're gonna do uh, a few giveaways today. Who's Belinda? Um, can one of my mods share Belinda? Actually, no, wait, do I have a exclamation point Belinda? Oh, I know I did a bunch of, a bunch of, um, 
there she is. Ha ha. I did make a command for Belinda. I got to do that for like everybody. But I had like one day where I was just like, oh, I should throw a bunch up here. So yeah, we have a, we have a command for Belinda. It's exclamation point Belinda. Um, so we're going to do some giveaways today. And um, let's see, we've got two hours. This time I'll try and space them out normally. We're going to do three giveaways. Um, we'll do two giveaways for PDF pages in my Etsy store. And then we'll do another giveaway for um, the little Gone with the Wind um, matching sticker, which is also in my Etsy store. So those who win will take a look um, at the Etsy store um, and uh, uh, see what page they want, and then they'll shoot me an email, and then I will send that over to them, okay? So we're going to be doing some giveaways for that. Um, last stream, we colored this dress here so i call this her mill dress although technically if you were to google mill dress this one would come up but that's because she, when she was wearing this dress in the movie um which if, if you don't know these dresses are based off gone with the wind um so this was uh when she was managing the mill and she was wearing this one i really liked it with the plaid and everything um but we are going to be coloring this dress and this dress is when they uh, she's trying out a bunch of new outfits and everything, and her and, um, Rhett take the baby out for a walk. And so the stripes are going to be red. It's mostly white, um, so we're going to work with that, which is going to be fun because I'm running out of my white pencils. Going to have a sip of tea here. Um, but I did order some more, um, white prism colors. Oh, awesome, Allison. So we got some tea today. We're going to do some giveaways. Um, okay, so this is the color chart that I have because we're going to be using Artezas today. We used, um, oh, well, awesome, Kenny. Um, we are going to be using Artezas because um, for the mill dress, we used uh, Faber-Castells. So this chart that I have here just has the um, number of the pencils because I hadn't worked out how to fit the names, but I have since worked out how to fit the names. I just haven't redone the Arteza charts. That being said, if you are needing um, color charts of any kind, you can either join our Facebook group and find them there, or you can just go to my website at emilyillustrator.com, navigate to the download. <laughs> Artezers, yep. <laughs> Artezers. And navigate to the download section, and there are a bunch of of uh, free color and swatch charts that look like these. Um, I have got a whole, oh, dropping papers, a whole folder full of them. So like, this is the new Faber-Castell one I need to fill in because I have all the names for this one. Um, I need to laminate this Black Widow one. This Black Widow one has all 144. Uh, do they have a star rating system? You know, I don't remember, Steve. I'll have to look. <laughs> all 144 uh, Black Widows. We've got the Stabilo Carbothello. Oh, I need to add the Amazon Basics uh, color chart. There's the Shapira Farbins, Arteza Twee Markers, Stedler Twin Tip Felt Markers, Arteza Real Brush Pens, uh, Stedler Ergo Soft. These are the 72 count. I don't know that I have these up anymore. Um, like the mix-up pencil ones. The mix-up of pencil brands. Would you like me to edit the charts? What do you mean the mix-up of pencil brands? Do you mean like this one here? Like the comparison? Because I brought this out today too while we're coloring just in case anybody wants it. There's also a Prismacolor versus Arteza color comparison chart as well as a Ergosoft versus Prismacolor and Ergosoft versus uh, Arteza. Hi, Sherry. Are you wearing Victorian today? I'm not wearing Victoria. I'm wearing leggings and a gamer shirt today. <laughs> I'm so fancy. Um, let's see. And then we got the luminance. We've got the Erosia Tintombos. We've got the Everblend markers, the portrait markers, tripless fine liner. So there's a bunch of them there. We got the ink conic. We've got the gel pens. I don't have very many of the dual Tombow uh, brush pens, but we do have a chart for it. Um, and then this is the Arteza versus Ergosoft. Not to mention, I think there's a few more I don't have in here like... Oh, these ones right here. I need to put these in. Oh, Arteza chart with no names. Um, well, I have the name, so I just need to do it, honestly. Um, we have Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor. This is the old Prismacolor chart. Oh, I almost showed you showed you a sneak peek of the uh, of the gold worksheet with all the gold names. I gotta save that one. That's an old favorite. That's what I used to have a favorite castell. Speaking of gold, this worksheet here. I'll give you another little sneak peek here. Da -da -da. This worksheet uh, is for the gold tutorial, which I have finally scheduled 
Um, and that is going to be on Saturday. I was trying to figure out how to squeeze it in um, between all of the colorathons because we have this Victorian colorathon, and then um, the weekend, the first weekend in October, um, in uh, 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 I don't yet, Wendy. I need to make one now that I have the because the favorite castells. I just got the full set like what month, a month and a half ago. Might have been two months ago, um, but and I had surgery, yada yada. I haven't had time. Um, but now that I have the full set of paper cast out, I will put. In fact, I'm gonna get a sticky note. Hi, Steve. Hello. What's up? Um, we're watching, obviously. Our daughter is wanting to know a copy of we're about. To oh. If not, it's okay. I can print one. one. She has something else she's coloring. If you don't. Yeah, let me print one for her real quick. Okay. Okay. Hang on, chat. I'm gonna print one for the daughter. Hold up. Let's see. Let's pull it up. Is my printer on? Yes, it is. Okay, leave the door open because that thing will pop out. Yes. Uh, the perks of being married. Facts. I can just print one out for her. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Which one am I coloring? Sorry. Again? No, you're fine. I'll do anything for her. Are you kidding me? There we are. All right. We're going to print one out for her real quick. Does, uh, does, does Sun want one also? No, Sun is kind of like Oregon Day. Ah, okay. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... I don't think Sun could care any less about what's going yeah, on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I'm competing with Pokemon, so, I mean, really. It is his favorite. Thing. It, it really is. Uh, okay. That should print now. At least it should. There we go. Should come out that bottom tray. Um, what was I writing down? I was writing down... Oh, favorite Castell versus Arteza. Unless, of course, there's no paper in the printer. I think there is. There should be paper in the printer. Hi, Christina. Sounds like it's like the wheels are spinning, but maybe it's just turning on. <laughs> Very true, Tanya. Very true. That's right. Steve does even have his own pencils now. Yes, I do. I think it's just warming up, but if not, I can hand you a piece of paper. There's some here. Yep, yep out of paper? Okay. <laughs> in the back tray here? Uh, no, go ahead and put it in. It should be in the cassette. I chose it for the cassette to... Mm, you know what? You just go ahead and put it in the uh, back tray. I'll go ahead and just reprint it through there. Hang on, chat. One sec. Hey, sweetie. Hey, honey. My extra Artezas are in the cabinet below. She can use those because mommy is using Artezas today. She's literally jumping for joy chat. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and have this go out the Hang on one second chat. I'm almost done. Oh, it's going now. It's, it, did it print out okay? Uh, okay, yeah, it must have canceled. Okay, hang on one second. They should be... Um, Are they in the tray? They should be in their box, yeah. All right, there you go. Oh, thanks, Allison. Okay, now it's printing again. Should be good. Although, can you turn that fan on high? Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Let me scroll up. What I miss? What I miss? Just make sure I'm pushing the black tray and close the uh, front before you go. This door will hit it. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. What did I miss? Oh, okay. I got you, Allison. I got you. No, nah, it's okay. I'll do it. Um, and as far as what program Hi, I Chad. use for, oh, Steve says bye, for the swatches, Sherry, um, I just use Excel, but because I've been doing the um, swatches for a while, I kind of have preset cells already set up. So really, all I have to do is adjust for the number of pencils that I'm doing, and then I put in all the information. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, happy birthday, Christina. Someone's birthday today? I have no idea. He is doing really well with his color, and he's doing great. Let's see. 
Oh, no, no worries, Lazi. And it's been late, too. Well, and Lazi, too, next weekend is going to be the gold stream. So we'll be doing a Saturday. I think I have it at 1 p.m. So it will be 7 p.m. your time, Lazi. Um, and we should be going for a couple hours um, after that because I think um, Sammy is back to her normal stream time. So I didn't want to overlap. Um, so she will be live earlier than that. And then I'll be at 1. Hmm. So... Yeah, so anyway, there's a bunch of um, charts and whatnot um, there. Oh, this was the other thing. I showed this to some of you on Friday. There's also a page of Victorian hats that actually go along with the dresses. So, for instance, um, this hat here, I haven't finished it yet, is the hat that goes with the sticker dress. <laughs> and then um, this hat here goes with this dress. And, oh... This hat here, this top left one, actually goes with this dress. And then this is the hat that she wears with the picnic dress where it's white with the green uh, florals. This hat here she wears briefly at the funeral of her first husband. And then this hat is the hat that uh, Rhett gives her um, when he's just buying her presents and everything. And she thinks she's being silly and she wears it backwards. Um, so anyway, the other one I printed out because I was debating which ones to do was this one. Oh, everybody's telling Lassie happy birthday. Um, but I went ahead and opted for this one. So um, from what I have seen, this is going to be, um, these are going to be red stripes. So it'll pretty much just be a red and white. So we'll have few, very few pencils, I think. I mean, we're going to, you know, do some stuff with the white. But I suspect we could probably do this with less than 10 pencils, I think. But yeah, so we've had a full time. Um, as far as the Victorian Colorathon itself, um, go ahead. You can type in exclamation point. Words are hard. Exclamation point Victorian. Um, but also in the description below for those watching back, the schedule is in the description below, as well as links to all of the um, streamers that are involved with this. Some of them um, have already finished. So like Sammy was yesterday. Um, Tanya and Mary just had their last one. Readings Pugs was before. But if you want to check them out, they're all great streamers. Um, and all of their links for their channels are in the description below. So if you haven't followed them or you're kind of new to the community, they are a great place to start if you're trying to look for um, uh, some new streamers to follow. Um, so I have these in bundles on the Etsy store. This is in bundle number two. Now you'll notice, as you can see, because it's got measurements here, this is actually smaller um, than what it will print. Um, I'm trying to find my full size one that I have for you. Here you go. Um, than what it will print for you at home. I printed it smaller because I wanted to be able to get this done um, in one stream. But when you print them at home, I have them drawn for eight and a half by 11. So you have a fair amount of dress space on some of them. Others, you have more detail, like the robe one. Um, I think that's also in bundle two. There's so much detail on it. You're probably going to want to print it uh, eight and a half by 11. Um, but if you want to print them smaller, um, I'm sure that there's those options when you print them. And this is a, what is this? This is seven by like five and a half. I think um, the other one, the orange mill dress that I did, let's see, this one was, and I printed the hats in uh, full size just because there was a fair amount of them. Um, this one is seven by six, Steve's, because what I did is I printed it on two, like two dresses on landscape, and then I, I trimmed the paper around. So this one is like, oh, this one's like a five by seven. Um, this one is like a... Five and a half by six. This one is also five and a half by six. So anyway, I printed them smaller, so that's why they look that way, but it's mostly for the sake of the stream so I can get it done, which means I should probably actually start coloring at some point. So before we get started, let me just say welcome to everyone and welcome to everyone that's here and been in the channels and welcome to everyone that's new. And with that, we are going to jump right in and go ahead and get started coloring. Um, like I said, we are using the Arteza color pencils. Although I think I need to update that link, but you should be able to, I want to say it's exclamation point Arteza 120 is the link for these ones. Um, so feel free to take a look at that. I want to say it's Arteza 120. Arteza, sorry, we're, we're using the Artezers, Brian. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't remember what the command is for that, but if you want to check all the commands, you can go exclamation point commands. <laughs> 
I don't remember what the link, what the command is for the Arteza pencils. Um, okay, so we are gonna take a look at this. And see, at one point also I needed this because I rolled over, this had fallen off my desk and I actually rolled over it on my chair so you can see it's like all wrinkled. But it's okay, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a new chart here at some point. All right, so let's go ahead and start with, like I said, this is gonna be kind of red. Um, let's grab number 140. Let's see. Oof, I use 140 a lot. I didn't realize that. I like 140. Look at this teeny tiny 140. Oh, well, probably won't be the last time we use small pencils today because that's what I have for my little white stumps here because I cannot find my other white Prismacolor for the life of me. But I ordered more, so hopefully they will be here soon. Um, and then let's grab... 137, 137, see that's 139, 137, which is cherry red, okay, ah, oh, thanks Cindy, all right, cherry red, and then let's grab, I'm thinking 49, No, I'm gonna think zero zero one. Yeah, zero zero one. All right, and let us start with that. Like I said, it's a pretty simple dress. It's red and white, but honestly, you could color this dress whatever you wanted. You could color the skirt. There's nothing that says you have to stick to this. Um, but just because I drew them like the movies, um, I I am sticking to movie colors, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Let's get this in our handy dandy pencil extender, actually. I'm going to give this a quick sharpen real quick. Ah, Tara Lynn. Oh, thank you, Tara Lynn. Oh, you are so sweet. Can you read some hypes in chat for Tara Lynn? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lazzy. <laughs> I like hunky, hunky stuffing recipe. That sounds good. Tara Lynn, thank you. You are so sweet. All right, one more sip of tea here. I could not believe that we went for four hours the other day. That was absolutely insane. Thank you so much, Tara Lynn. You're so sweet. Okay, so we're going to start with 140, okay? And since it's simple enough, like, I could probably go excuse me, uh, more complicated with... Um, my color scheme but I also want to be able to get this done in one stream that means less than two hours which is going to be a record for me considering it took me four hours to get that other one done oh man Lazzy and you know I actually look back on all my live streams and it is my longest live stream I think it beat the other live streams by like 10 minutes so yes Friday was officially my longest stream I've ever done poor Steve was very tired <laughs> Perfect, Tara Lynn, perfect. Well, and then tomorrow, we're gonna be live again tomorrow um, because we are still working on our fall hat picture here. So this is where we left off at last time. And so then we're gonna do all this foliage uh, back here. So that one is also available in my Etsy store if you wanted to um, color along. Um, but yeah, we'll be live again um, tomorrow with that. And that is um, Monday. And then we should be live again on Friday. And then Saturday, we'll have our special gold stream. Um, and then we'll be back to normal times after that. And then that following weekend will be, um, I don't think the schedule has been officially announced yet, um, but it is that weekend. And so that will be the Spooktober Colorathon, which there will be, oh my goodness, so many pages from so many wonderful artists um, that you will be able to purchase from. There should be sales going on. Um, so that will be lots of fun. Yeah, um, I was finally, uh, the lovely cat, a lot, I was able to finally uh, try the Nina Classic Crest paper. So that's what I'm using on here. Um, I think I might have... 
uh, exclamation point, Nina? Maybe I did that, but normally I also use this paper. Um, what printer do you have? I have a Canon TS8120. I think it's what I have. Oh, did I put it up here? Any exclamation point printer? I went through one day and just like updated all of my commands, but I don't remember if I made one for the printer. Ah, there it is. There's the printer I use. <laughs> Nightbot really is handy in that sense, because as long as I can remember the command, then we're good to go. I actually had another printer, and I don't know um, how many of you remember, but do you remember when Johanna had that... Um, collaboration with Canon and you could go to Canon's website and download those very specific um, drawings she had done like seasonal drawings they came out once a season and you could download those and color those well I mean nobody had announced that there was any kind of um, is there anything you don't have a command for hmm well I can't remember the one for the Artezas does that count and there's a few streamers I still need to add commands for I know, I need to, I need to. Um, but uh, anyway, so I had, I was so excited, you know, I, everybody knows I love Johanna stuff, and I was so excited about them that I was printing them out whenever they came out and I was coloring them. Yeah, actually, I don't think I have a link. <laughs> Exclamation point, Steve, get me tea. <laughs> Steve got me my tea um, in my uh, Animal Crossing mug. <laughs> Um, but, uh, anyway, so I was printing them out and coloring them right away. Well, some time passed afterwards and I got this email from Canon and apparently they liked the fact that I had colored the pictures like so much and so quickly. Like, again, it wasn't anything they had announced, but they sent me a flipping printer and a signed book by Johanna. I was like, I didn't know this was supposed to happen. So anyway, that printer that I have was because Canon sent it to me. Did you see my Victorian post, uh, picture I posted in the group page? I will have to say, look, I might have seen it, but I'll have to look again. I was hoping it wasn't the 9th through 11th. I would have missed them all. Yeah, it's the uh, weekend of the 2nd through the 4th. And then next weekend will be the gold stream, which, I mean, I've been... I, I meant to do that earlier, and then my tonsils kind of flared up, and then I had to go get them out, so I postponed it. But I have it all ready to go. The worksheets are done, everything. Um... So, uh, oh, fun cat. Yay. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Basically, um, there's going to be worksheets involved and I've got gosh, how many different color combinations did I come up with for that? There's like 12 different color combinations. I think cat really is. Cat is amazing. Yeah, I want to say 12 different color combinations. What did I? Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think now. Which ones did I do? Artezas, Carbothel Pastel, Derwent Watercolor, Carondosh Luminance, Erosion Tombo, Prismacolor Premieres, um, Faber Castell, Stedler Ergosoft, Pure Farben, Crayola, Black Widow, and Arteza Watercolor. Yeah, so we have, oh no, sorry, not 12. Well, no, it was 12, because it was, yeah, six on each page, so it's two pages. And then it comes with a gold practice uh, worksheet. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Should be lots of fun. And what it will do is it will give you a gold combination for each of those brands of pencils. I mean, we have that storm that's coming through. It's going to start raining here this evening, but I don't think it will prevent me from streaming. Um, I don't know. Texas is pretty good. About I think in the entire time we've lived here, we've only had the electricity go off like twice, maybe. So I don't think that the storm will prevent me from uh, from streaming. Okay, and we're going to grab Cherry Red. Oh, 
nice, cat. That's good. Well, and the wireless, I think the wireless went out on my printer. I mean, I've had it for a few years, but I think the wireless went out on my printer. So I had to uh, order a cord so that it could be connected directly to my computer because it just wasn't printing or it was like printing only part of it. It actually started to go out when I did the um, one of the Insta, I think it was the 10K Instagram giveaway. So I had a bunch of names to print out because I drew the names from a, from a little um, like bowl or a cup. And so I was printing them out and like the printer was only printing like portions of the names. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> what happened with your printer? Interesting. I know the Halloween color thong is going to be great. There's so many pages that are going to be um, available to color. Be great. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Kit. Yeah, Steve had to go back to his office for his uh, work printer as well. Yeah, it's going to be great, Shell. I haven't decided which of my pages I'm going to color yet. I think I know. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. I just realized. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use the rose red number 001. Definitely get some going to get some green in here too. I know who I'm coloring for, but can't decide which to do first. Ah, uh, that's fair. Ooh, a color laser printer. That'd be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and grab. Um, let's see. I'm thinking 59. I need to put my phone on silent. That vibration keeps going off. <laughs> Runaway pencil. All right. Uh, do we want this one? Yeah, we do. 59. Let's give it a quick sharpen. The funny thing is, is I've colored so much this weekend, more than I have in ages, especially since I did that whole Christine Karen page, like in one day yesterday. For the first time in a while, I was actually like, my hand was cramping up last night. I was just like, oh man. That hasn't happened in a while. All right, so we're gonna use 59 and I'm gonna add it a little bit for contrasting shadow. But I realize this part here needs to Still looking for your mojo? Yeah, I get that. I definitely have had times where I was just like, eh, and didn't color for a while. <laughs> Lousy. Aw, oh, thanks, cat. And I also missed this one up here. This is just how much I'm paying attention. <laughs> Okay, Let's see if I can carefully open this drawer without, dang, I don't think I can. All right, where we're going to use this. I had my extra um, blender pencil in here that I forgot to 
grab, but if I, here, I have an idea. Okay, chat, bear with me. I'm gonna lower this for a second because right now if I pull my drawer out, it's gonna pull this cord loose. So hang on one second. I know it's blurry, bear with me, ha ha. But I have a drawer right here and where the cord sits, it stretches across the drawer. And uh, if I pull it, it'll pull the cord out and then stream will be over because that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, there we go. Are we still in focus now? Hey, we're a little out of focus. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're going to... Actually, we are going to empty this real quick. Into what? I need a little cup. Like I don't have enough cups here. We'll use this cup. <laughs> Mojo. <laughs> Oh, nice, cat. Okay. Right, you can tell it's full when, like, the pack of stuff practically, like, holds its shape in the bottom of the cup. <laughs> I use the little handheld one a lot to sharpen the um, blender pencil. <laughs> Wowzy. Quick sharpen here. Almost there. A box monster? <laughs> Hang on, almost got it. There we go. Alright, so I know I have this one here, but it's turning into quite the little nub. Um, so we're going to take it out and we're going to switch it out. And I like to put this... I know not everybody has this issue, but I have a tendency to snap my blender pencils. So I pop this in the extender and I put it all the way down to the bottom so that it's got a bit more support um, when I use it so it doesn't snap quite as much. Okay, now we're gonna use the blender pencil. However, it does brighten it up quite a bit, so I might still take a white to the top of this. I did yet. Let's see what this looks like. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh. Has my mic not been on? Did I hit a button? I've been sitting here talking to myself this whole time. I swear I haven't been quiet. <gasps> Please tell me my mic has been on like this whole time, right? Right? Please tell me like you've heard some talking. Oh my gosh. Have I been silent for this entire time? Okay, okay. I must have just hit the button or something at some point. Oh my word. You should have told me, Steve. You're I thought, watching the I stream. You were focusing. No! It's been quiet this whole time. Oh, not since the blender. Okay, not too long. I must have knocked it when I was getting my little, getting my cup. Since you got the blender, you went quiet? Oh, my word. I'm a chatty person, guys, so if I go quiet, you know there's a reason. Oh, my goodness. Well, at least the music was there to fill the silence. I've just been over here and just chatting away, and I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> And you don't hear him really talking. Something is wrong. Yes. Something is wrong. Seriously, I've been chatting away this whole time. Oh my gosh. Okay then. Well. What's what's uh what's streaming without a few hiccups? Oh my word. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, the music's a little low, Tara Lynn. It's not meant to be that loud because I don't ever want to compete with uh, the music too much. Because sometimes if you got too much music and too much talking. But it wasn't an issue either way this time. There was nothing. Oh my word. Oh my word. Yeah. Okay. Well, thoroughly embarrassed over here. Okay, professional streamer, by the way. Oh my goodness. And on that note, I'm going to get a new color. Yay! <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. We're just, we're just going to pretend like that never happened. What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, see, I have a little, um, they call it a stream deck. And what it is, is it's a button where I don't have to use my mouse to do what I need to. All I have to do is hit a, hit a button and that will mute my music or mute me or change to a new scene or, oh, I never switched that back around. Um, or, you know, or my stream ending scene or my be right back. And, and yeah, I must just hit the button. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Well then. What's, uh, what's life had a little excitement? Um, okay. All right, so 35 is what we're going to use now. I'm just, I'm just moving on. I'm moving on. Uh, we're going to use a little gray here. Just because it is supposed to be white, but we're not going to leave it truly white. Is the mic cutting in and out? It could have just been because I was faced away from it. And also because I was yelling. <laughs> because I was freaking out. Oh my goodness. Well, it's nice to know that you guys were all just hanging out when uh, I wasn't even talking. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, in all of that talking that I was doing to myself, uh, Kat, I was wondering, um, you said that you've had people call you cats for years. So is there a uh, story behind your nickname? And there's these lines and stuff on the apron, and so we're going to go back and we are going to um, have those stand out as well. Sounds good, Cindy. Hi, 
time is it anyway? 2.45? You know, I think it might be time for a giveaway. What do we think? Giveaway time? Yeah? And this one will be for a page in my Etsy store. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our handy dandy night bot here. Handy dandy. Okay, we're gonna do giveaways. And if you want to be entered in for a chance to win a page from the Etsy store, let's type in the word giveaway. Oh, don't roll it yet. <laughs> I accidentally hit roll it. Okay, so yes, type the word giveaway. Um, I'm gonna say no, just because this is a new stream. Um, so even if you won in other people's streams, uh, if you won in my stream on Friday, maybe sit this one out, but if you won in other people's streams, because that wasn't my stream, oh, you know what? No, full reset. Everybody can enter. Doesn't matter. Woohoo! Giveaway for everybody! Yay! But yeah, everyone can enter. Enter away. All right, so we'll let that run for a little bit. <laughs> Loretta. Yeah, everybody can win. Why not? Um, okay, let's grab, while that runs, let's grab, what do I want to use? Hmm. Actually, I haven't used this before, but I feel like it would kind of work. Let's grab 134, which is unicorn purple. Uh, this is color that's new to the uh, 120 set. Yes, giveaway is one word. We're gonna use unicorn purple here. Oh, yeah, I like that. I have not used this color much yet. Technically like metallic -y. not to be confused with Metallica. And this on its side a little bit. Like kind of pinkish a little bit. And now I'm just kind of flipping it around here. Oh. All right, let's grab our blender pencil. There's a color card, unicorn. Yes, unicorn purple. It's like a metallic pink, Tanya. All right, did everybody get in? We have 23 people in here. Anybody else want to get in? Nelly? Let's see. Or I, I guess I'm wondering if Nelly would like to get in. Okay, all right. So, our teasers, here I come. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, Nelly, type it in as one word. One word. We'll do we'll do an easier word next time that our phones don't auto give a space to. Okay. Oh, there she is. There's Nelly. Okay, perfect. All right. 24. There we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and roll it. For three, two, one, roll it. Patricia, Patricia, you are our winner. Let me go and write it down. Patricia, uh, to go ahead and type exclamation point email. Um, send me an email with what page you want from my store. And I will go ahead and email that back to you. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch it back. We'll wait for Patricia to answer so she knows Patricia. Patricia, Patricia. 
We should sing a bunch of songs about Patricia. Patricia, 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 Patricia. Yay! Jazz hands. Cha cha cha. <laughs> uh, Melissa, this is from bundle number two. Uh, and this is the dress. There she is. Hi, Patricia. Um, this is the dress that she and that she wears when her and Rhett take uh, baby Bonnie on a walk. Blender pencil. Post Patricia exclamation point email. I feel like I'm going a lot slower than I should. I mean, it's all going to be basically, you know, stripes and the same kind of thing. So if I don't finish this um, on stream, I'll finish it off stream and then post it later. Because we have um, our other work in progress that we're working on as well. There we go. I like that. I think that's coming along. I am not on the wine again. I actually haven't had any wine in a while. <laughs> Close, Patricia. Close. Can someone put in the command for Patricia so she can see the the uh, the email there? Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab one forty again. Add a bit more here. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. And Lazi, there you go. Uh oh, Lazi. Mary's trying to take your job. <laughs> oh, Alexis, for sure. You absolutely don't have to color it all the way. I mean, Steve did. Uh, where's Steve's? Steve did uh, Galaxy. Here you go. Steve did Galaxy. So, yeah, color however you want. Okay, that's fair, Lazi. That's fair. <laughs> oh, Shannon did it first. Oh, goodness. See, I wasn't even looking at it close enough. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I saw a cat do the latest. You're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Yes, gone with the wind. Yes, yes, yes. You're good. I think if you wanted to watch it, if anybody hasn't watched and they wanted to, I think it's on um, Amazon. I think you can either buy or rent that there. I think I did that a couple times when I was trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to color. All right. Um, so this part here is going to be red and white also, but I kind of want to move to the upper part. We'll, we'll move down to that bottom skirt part too, because this whole skirt here is white. Oh, for some reason, my Echo thinks you're saying Alexa, it's responding. <gasps> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have access to someone's Alexa? I do? Alexa, play Baby Shark. <laughs> I'll only do that once, I promise. <laughs> now I'll be curious to see how many people end up having Baby Shark play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll, I'll have better. Alexa, add colored pencils to the shopping list. <laughs> no, Joanna, don't mute it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too easy and too much fun with great power comes great responsibility and I'm not responsible at all. Oh, that's amazing. That is so amazing. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> well, see, I can get right up close to the mic, make it, re make it really nice and clear. Uh, Della, so what did you, uh, what did you rename your, uh, your Alexa? I just didn't want to know. I forgot about it until now. No more baby shark, Allie. No. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> the 
That's why I tried not to say any specific color pencils. I didn't want it to actually accidentally get added to somebody's grocery list. Can you imagine? Not saying? Ah, oh, boo, Della, boo. <laughs> um, I come in the room and I hear Baby Shark marrying. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. All right, we're using Cherry Red now. I haven't done that in a while. That's fun. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, Cat. <laughs> well, they're there now, Cat. You just you can say you can say Emily made me do it. That's amazing. <laughs> it wasn't even me this time, Tanya. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I hilarious. John says you're getting muted. <laughs> oh no. Please be in our next stream. Okay. Well, what is what is John like? I'll add something to, uh, to the grocery list for John. Hi, Paul. Did you come out? Hey, buddy. Want to come up? Oh, big fella's been hiding a lot because he's nervous about the storm coming. Come here. Here we go. Okay. You want to come up here? Hi. You going to say hi? Well, that's my tea. Are you going to lay on my picture now? Are you gonna stay put? Yeah? Show everybody your- oh no, put, put that down. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see that. What you doing? We have a visitor. Hey buddy. <laughs> Steve has come, come to rescue. <laughs> Our daughter thought it was hilarious. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I've just enjoyed a rendition of Baby Shark for my Alexa. Nice, Mandy. Doctor Who collectibles. Ooh, ooh, okay, all right. Well, no, because then it'll add Doctor Who collectibles to everybody else's Alexa. Oh, wait, who came in? Oh, okay. <laughs> That is Paul. Sir Paul McCatney is who that is. He, I probably made too much noise with my laughing and bothered him. Uh, but he has been hiding... Um, quite a bit lately because with the storm rolling in, I think he can feel the change in pressure and, um, yeah, it made him kind of nervous. Hey, sweetie. Oh, did you work on your picture? Oh, okay. My daughter would like to show stream her picture. Look at that. That's looking so good. Oh, and did you do some shading? Yes. Oh, very nice. I like your color choices. They're very good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to tell stream anything? Do you want to wave under the camera? <laughs> Thank you. Well, did you want to keep working on it? Okay. Here, I'll hold the light. You go ahead. Hi. Oh, they all think it's beautiful. <laughs> I did. I disturbed Paul. Well, we've got a thunder shirt for him, too. They've got a thunder shirt for him, too. Or we do. And so when the storms start to roll in... Um... Right, Alexis? Exactly. When the uh, storm starts to roll in, then we go ahead and pop on his little his little thunder shirt. Although, I got the one that's supposed to be sized for cat, but I think he's... Well, not our cat. For a cat. Um, <laughs> unless cat, of course, you need... Yeah, I don't know if you, I don't know if you need a, a thunder shirt or not. Um, but I got the one that's sized for cats, and honestly, it's a little bit small on him. So either he needs to go on a diet, or I need to get him a bigger thunder shirt. But it does its job. <laughs> Mini Emily is learning well. I like it. Um, it does for him, Joanna. And I think part of like, I thought maybe he just he would hate it because, you know, I mean, we don't generally put clothes on the cats. Um, but it does seem to calm him uh, in the sense that like he'll lay down and he won't immediately go running for some place to hide if the thunder goes. He's still a little unnerved, but it definitely helps him in that sense. So between him getting to hide under our blankets and the thunder shirt, he's not nearly as stressed out. So yeah, it does help a little bit. I wondered um, just because, I mean, I had read that it had helped some cats, um, but you know, they're mainly, you hear you hear a lot of it mainly for dogs. And so I was just like, well, I don't know, but he's so stressed out. And I, I've heard that you can do like CBD oil um, for, for cats, but I just don't know enough about that to want to give him medicine and stuff. So I figured, you know what, we'll try this first. And it seems to be working, and especially considering that it's like, you know, storm season right now, we were definitely looking for something to help 
kind of ease his anxiety a little bit. And the thing of it is, is he didn't really have anxiety until this year. So I don't know if it was just a development thing, like, you know, because he was so young, because he's not that old. He's maybe three. So when he was younger, maybe it just didn't bother him as much, but he definitely has anxiety about it now. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of people worry that I just don't know that much about it, you know? I need to do more research before I do it. But like I said, I figured the shirt was a good kind of non-invasive way. Um, you know, I don't need to know doses for a shirt. So I was just like, well, we'll give it a shot. And um, yeah, he doesn't like hate it in the sense that he like tries to get it off or goes nuts or anything. He just, you know, relaxes a little bit. Yes, they can. Now, is it Gilly or Jilly? Because I immediately wanted to say Jilly, but it, that doesn't make sense. If it was Jilly, maybe it would be a J, or maybe it is Jilly or Gilly. Help me out. Which one is it? <laughs> Either way, hello. But especially with the hurricane getting ready to blow through, um, I was pleased that we had it. And I mean, we're not going to get that many inches of rain. Wind will be a factor, um, but for us, like, it's, it's going to be like how things are draining and flash floods and all that kind of stuff. But we're not going out anywhere, so we're going to be just fine. So I'm not too concerned. My old dog developed a fear of storms and he got older. Yeah, that might be what it is. I never had a pet that was bothered by it. But before we moved down here, I never lived a place that got thunderstorms regularly. So, so after July 4th fireworks, everyone close to me freaked him out. And now thunder does too. Oh. Poor Riggs. I feel like I've got a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and grab Cherry Red. What kind of ring is that? This one here? This is a resin ring. I forget where I got it. I got it on Etsy, um, but it is made out of resin. It's got little fern pieces in it, small little like blue flowers. I think they're like labelia and tiny little like gold leaf in it. Um, but yeah, it's just a resin ring. Might've been like 30 bucks or something. As bed storms, Lisa, I remember. Yeah, it definitely can. It is jilly. Okay, okay, it's jilly, perfect. Um, yeah, well, and for the most part, I mean, we're, we're upstairs, so we don't have to worry, you know, about anything, anything too, too bad. And we are, oh, about an hour, hour and a half north of Houston. So a lot of times when these big storms roll through, we just get rain for a couple of days and it's not that big of a deal. This is the first time we've had where we've actually been in the path of it, but still, I mean, it's probably only going to be about... 30 and honestly high winds don't really bother me because I grew up on the coast um, in in Oregon and so uh, high winds were pretty pretty common thing in fact I distinctly remember I don't remember what kind of house it was that we lived in but when I was younger the house that I grew up in I distinctly remember the wind was blowing really strong and me and my my kid brain not really understanding too much about what's going on. Like, I was so sure that the whole roof was going to, like, rip off the top of the house. Just because I remember it was creaking. And, I mean, it was a pretty big storm. But, again, you know, it all seemed much scarier because I was a kid. I'm coloring along here. I'm trying to learn to be lighter. And I'm doing it. Oh, awesome, Shell. Almost football time for you. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes, Steve, Steve very much likes the football. The ball of foot. But honestly, I'm I'm enjoying the, the slightly cooler weather. We took the kids to the park yesterday. There's a little flower park there that didn't really have any people in it, so that was nice. I had a dog that freaked out over thunderstorms. Once during a storm, I held him close to me until the storm was over. was not afraid of storms after that. Aw, that's so sweet, Patricia. All right, I'm going to see if I can sharpen this a little bit. It's so tiny, but we'll see. 
Oh, I love storms too, Kat. I mean, I love storms up until it gets dangerous, but honestly, I'm in my best mood when it's storming. Like, no joke. Your gale force winds on my weather report since I moved to the east. Yeah, we definitely had some gale force winds um, when we, because we were right on the coast. Like, we were a beach town. Like, we had a big jetty. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it wasn't abnormal to have such strong winds. Like, if you were to go to my hometown and you drive up along the coast, like, there's um like tsunami warning signs like this is what you do in the case that there's a tsunami warning it's like oh that's that's comforting all right but i also have a abnormal fear of apocalyptic disasters so yeah <laughs> all right let's see neighbors have seen me dancing in the rain way more than they should have cat i love it i absolutely love it all right, so Jade Green, 59. It was stormy earlier and thunder so loud it rattled and shook the house. Oh, dang, Patricia, where are you... Uh... Where are you uh, located? Just generally, if you don't mind my asking. Just adding a tiny bit of green here. <laughs> I'm phobic of storms. That's fair. That's fair. Well, I mean, in the UK, you guys get a lot of, you know, rain and kind of cloudy weather. But do you really get that many thunderstorms? I mean, is humidity... I mean, when I think humidity, I think of the South because when we, you know, I grew up on the coast, but we didn't have humidity out there because we were so far north. So do you get much, uh, many thunderstorms, Lazi? Florida? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fair, Kat. Uh, just type in exclamation point Etsy, Alexis. Exclamation point Etsy, and that'll take you right there. All right, uh, elephant gray. I'm gonna turn this like this. And if anybody's watching it back, I realize you're probably not going to use the command. So you can just search uh, Emily Illustrator um, in the Etsy stores. Not really. If it's hot for a few days, you usually get one, but otherwise, no. My first day as was tornadoes and hail. I loved it. Just feel more alive in storms. Yes, I love it. Well, for us, I mentioned in Tanya and Mary's stream, we've had um, a few a few tornadoes here. You know, when when I say, you know, like, three or four or five or whatever like some of them were you know they didn't really touch down super close to me they weren't really really an issue um the only two that i that i you know remember significantly and actually kind of frightened me a little bit um i was when steve was away on a dig and it was just me and the kiddos and um there was a tornado that touched down <sighs> gosh a couple miles a couple miles away uh, we drove by the place that it touched down at every day when I took the kids to um, gymnastics um, but I remember it was lunchtime and I was making the kids some lunch and again Steve was you know out of the country so he wasn't even here the kids were really young like um, my oldest was maybe two maybe almost three and uh youngest was you know not even one yet um anyway i just remember i was in the kitchen i was heating stuff up and all of a sudden like the skies just went dark like almost like it was nighttime dark and i was just like uh what's happening and so i turn on the um weather channel and they're like oh yeah there's a tornado that's touching down like and i'm like oh my god that's so close so i called a neighbor who had a slightly safer location than we did i'm using unicorn now um slightly safer location than we did at the moment and i loaded up the kids took their lunch and we just kind of hunkered down until it all passed but then later we drove by because really it was only a couple miles away and i mean Fences were ripped out of the ground, ceiling, you know, roofs were ripped off homes and everything. That was probably the most I've ever experienced as far as tornadoes uh, are concerned. And then, um, oh, volunteer firefighter, gotcha. 
And then uh, the other one I experienced was actually, I think last year, um, I had dropped the kids off with Steve at his work because I had to go to the dentist. And there was a bit of a storm and everything, but you know, it was okay. And so I had dropped the kids off with Steve at work and then I left to go to the dentist. And as I'm going, suddenly through it comes through on the radio and it's telling, you know, find shelter now, get indoors, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I look it up and where they were saying this tornado was going to touch down was uh, like right next to where Steve was working. And as it turns out, uh, Steve and the kids and everybody in Steve's office had to like go take shelter. So here I am in the dentist chair with my mouth up and on the other side of town and Steve and the kids are all hunkered down trying to ride out this tornado. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm just like, oh my Lord. It was, it was a little, and now here I am. I drop off my kids and like the most dangerous, I didn't know a tornado was going to touch down there. And I didn't know there was going to be a tornado. I was just like, you've got to be kidding me, but I couldn't do anything. I couldn't leave. So, yeah, I was a little, I, I was very glad to pick them up. Uh, what color is in your extender? I think I missed that one. Oh, this one is just a white one. It's just a white Cran d'Ache blender that I'm using to kind of blend out the colors since this is white. So it's just, yeah, it's just a white blender. You could use a Prismacolor too. I'm just like out of Prismacolor. Yes, you guys were fine, but still, here I am sitting here on the other side of town. I couldn't do anything. But, yeah, it was, it was a little nuts. Uh, okay, so we're going to use that 140 again. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, they did They did great to keep all the kids occupied and everything. Uh, what is the silver pencil extender you're using? It looks much better than the one I've got. Oh, Catherine, these are absolutely fantastic. These are the Derwent pencil, pencil extenders. Um, these are, they twist. Like, I've had one that kind of has one that where you just slide this little, you know, like washer up and it kind of tightens it and everything. Um but it's hollow all the way down which is nice because i can take something like this blender which has a tendency to break and you can just slide it all the way in and then you tighten it up and then i have a black one here they're two different sizes so they came in a two pack two different sizes um here let's there you go so one is smaller than the other so like this one fit prisma colors these ones fit wider pencils like the blenders and the Karanda Ash and everything um but yes I highly recommend these um I don't know that I have a link for these but I'm sure one of my mods can um can grab them because they always tell me to delegate um but yeah they're the Duent pencil extenders I really like them they're a little like scratchy when you twist but they get the job done they work pretty whale watch one go across the road about a mile or so in front of us oh my gosh cat yeah that's a little stressful what's the uk panicking about a few snowflakes in a perspective <laughs> that's amazing he closed heathrow before a snowflake <laughs> that's hilarious but yeah i mean before we before we moved here i had never really experienced any kind of big storms i mean we had a few you know light earthquakes over the years in in oregon but you know nothing nothing significant all right um we are gonna grab elephant gray here i want to add a bit more shadow on the side i mean because although it's white it's not going to be truly white you know and if you hear any loud thumping it's just it's just the kiddos So this is also, okay, we need to add a little bit of cherry red here. Okay. Let's grab our white. It's snowing next month. I'm just relieved to have a little bit cooler weather, that's all. That's all for me. 4.0 earthquake here in Wales. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it doesn't usually have too many earthquakes in, in the UK, does it? Oh, snow. I was just like, wait, S word, four letters. I mean, I can think of a bad word that's four letters, but I was just like, uh. <laughs> um, okay, let's add a little bit more of that elephant gray here at the base of the collar.
help if I kept in frame, huh? I can zoom in a little bit more too. There we go. There we go. Lighten that one more time too. I don't know if that's too bright. I'm look, trying to look and see what you guys are seeing, but yeah, I think one more is a little too bright. Hey, buddy. Picture to color. You want a picture to color also? Which picture do you want to color? Um, Did you want to color a dress? Oh. <laughs> you like it? Oh, do you see your hand on the yeah. screen? I need to like it. Just color it a lot. Okay, did you want to color a dress? Did you want the same one as your sister? Are you just enjoying seeing your hand in the video? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hang on. Let's pull up the things real quick and you can choose, okay? Is the printer still on? Yep. <laughs> you just putting your hands all over? I like it. Hmm? Okay, hey, hey, get your hand out of there. All right, which one do you want to color? You want me to just pick one for you, or do you want to do the same one as Sammy? Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, go out. Daddy will bring it to you, okay? <laughs> okay, get out. But, Mommy, I have to use this, because look. Oh, did you get a scratch? I'm sorry you got a scratch. Come here, bud. Mommy's gonna print your thing, and I'll get it for you. Why don't you go finish your snack, okay? Hang on one second, chat. If I can find it. Oh my lord, where is it? Oh, there it is. Such a cute finger, I know, right? These pretty adorbs. All right, it's printing. All right, let's pull this back up. There we go. I don't think Mike is off, Catherine. I wasn't talking for a sec, but let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch. UK has very few earthquakes for kilometers from... The oh, gotcha, gotcha. What kind of paper do you recommend for coloring your pieces on? Um, well, right now I'm using the Nina Crest paper, but normally um, you can type in exclamation point paper, and normally I will uh, use that. Drop all your favorite leaf colors at one time, five feet in the air. Doomed, oh no! <laughs> mini Steve and mini Emily, yes, exactly. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. So the collar is also, you know, it's 318. Hey, let's do our second giveaway real quick and then we'll do our third giveaway uh, here at the end. Okay, so for our next giveaway, this is going to be for the um, Gone with the Wind sticker. Um, so for a chance to win this, go ahead and type in the word sticker. All right. So type in the word sticker. Well, it looks a lot darker than it actually is here. There you go. That's a little bit brighter. Um, but anyway, type in the word sticker and you'll be entered for a chance to win the um, Gone with the Wind sticker. Gosh, I need to clean my thing. There's so much like pencil dust and stuff ground into it. <laughs> and this is open up worldwide, so anybody can enter. Okay. Forty, but this is uh, you know what it's like when I stream during the daytime. So, yeah. <laughs> Interruptions are uh, are bound to happen. Oh. I'm gonna let that run for just a little bit, and then uh, we'll go ahead and roll it. Football time! Woohoo! There you go. Ah! 
problem is I'm just too easily distracted. <laughs> It is. I was saying that the other day, Sherry, uh, Steve was watching football, and I was just like, dang, that is a little weird, isn't it? All right, so cherry red now. Oh, we just lost John. You said football. I mean, no football. No football. No football. Or we could do, Alexa, play the Monday Night Football theme. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, that's copyright. Never mind. <laughs> if we play the theme song, then that'll make him come back because he'll be, like, all confused about, oh, like, oh, wait, she's watching football now. Okay. All right, he gone. <laughs> All right, did everybody go ahead and enter in sticker? Just have Brian singing. He don't care. I know, right? I was cringing for you, Shannon. I was cringing for you. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, go ahead and entered. If anybody else wants a chance to win a sticker? All right, so just type in the word sticker if you want a chance to win the sticker. I'll give a countdown. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Alexis just got in and roll it. Sherry, Sherry, you won. Congratulations, Sherry. Well, now wait a minute, Sherry. Did you win a Did you win a, a sticker last time? I just realized that. I know I said reset, but I don't know if you want two stickers. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Did you win the sticker already? I mean, I know I put something in the mail, but I don't remember if it was to you or not. I know I sent you an email. Not from this stream. Okay, perfect. That means you didn't win a sticker yet. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so Sherry, woohoo! Sherry, you won! You won a sticker, Sherry. So I'll get that in the mail to you, um, what's today? Saturday? It'll go out Monday. It'll go out Monday because the mail won't go out on Sunday. Alexis now playing Macarena. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's fine, Shannon. I was just, I couldn't remember if she had won a sticker or not already. And if she had already won, I was like, oh, well, I don't want to send you the same one if you wanted something different. Seriously, Sherry, you're doing great. Awesome. All right. And then we'll do one more giveaway before the end for another um, page. All right. So Rose Red. I got the shipping notification for a new sticker that's going to be in the shop. I'm pretty excited about. Should replace the uh, sold out um, fairy uh, teapot sticker. There we go. I have not said Alexa stop more in my life. Oh no, cat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, maybe I can think of something better for Alexa to play. Okay, okay, okay. Alexa, play Lindsay Sterling's Underground. I love Lindsay Sterling. She's fantastic. And if you haven't heard Lindsay Sterling yet and you have an Alexa, now you'll get to hear it. She's so super talented. She does like hip hop violin. I'm telling you, like I would play her music on this stream all the time if it wouldn't be a copyright issue. Rye Groon? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. There you go. Yes, yay, Lindsay Sterling. <laughs> Dying with laughter over here. That's awesome, Kat. Yeah, she is so fantastic. I absolutely love, she's like so much talent. Like it's ridiculous. She can dance she can play the violin it's great all right uh 59 i think i'll skip the other sleeve for now so i can um get part of the skirt done as well am 
My Alexa can't find it. Oh no! Let's say it again. <laughs> we could do the uh, the Google version too. Like, okay, Google, play Lindsey Sterling Underground. Or Shatter Me. Shatter Me is a good one. She can dance and play the violin at the same time. Yes, exactly. I think she just had a new music video come out too. I saw a thing on Instagram about it. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, you've seen her in concert, Sherry? That's amazing. Is she Christian or is she Mormon? I was thinking she was Mormon, but I might be wrong. Uh, let's see, 35. That she went and stayed with her sister during quarantine, so she had like a bunch of cute pictures of her niece or videos of her nieces and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Cause she was actually in the middle of a tour when all of this went down. My Google didn't recognize you. Oh no! Touring with Evanescence. Oh, that's cool, Sherry. That would have been really cool to see. Yeah, she does a great collaboration with uh, Evanescence. Ugh. Yeah, she was coming to Houston and I was seriously considering getting some of her tickets and then everything went down and I was just like, well, okay. Okay, I give up trying to color. I'm laughing as much as I did in Shan, it's true. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I could just secretly add, you know, all of uh, Doctor Who to people's, like, playlists for Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, Cindy. Have a great night. All right, so unicorn purple. A bit here on the corners. When I say have a great night. Are we a night? I'm used to saying have a great night because of the time, but I guess it's have a great afternoon. Well, unless you are a night. Before you go, what are you having? <laughs> Tanya needs to know, what are you eating? <laughs> there she is. Oh my god, Tanya, that's amazing. Oh no, I've killed your algorithms for random play music now. Oh, I'm sorry, Catherine. <laughs> oh no, Teresa. I do need to know. <laughs> oh my goodness, crack me up. Let's add a little bit of this green here. Food is life. I must know. I'm in bed trying to stay awake. Aw, Ruthie, what time is it there? There we go. And we're going to add a little bit of green here also. A little bit at the waist. Pork chops and sweet potato hash. Nice. I did not mean to grab the white. I meant to grab the blender pencil. There we go. All right, we're going to add a little bit of green at the waist below also. Okay, so this here is white. It's so bright. There we go. I don't darkens it, but it's a little bit more accurate to what the colors are. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab our elephant gray. <laughs> Tanya. Oh my goodness. Oh, that sounds good, Loretta. I'm not sure what we're doing for dinner tonight, 
But somebody in chat was talking about um, parsnip soup. Was that Brian? Was Brian talking about the parsnip soup? Anyway, I make a great um, leek and parsnip soup, parsnip soup. So we got our grocery delivery this morning. So last night I had Steve um, put the ingredients I needed on the grocery list. Um, and I'm going to make some... Um, leek and parsnip soup tomorrow and break out the bread maker and make some bread to go with it because figure it's gonna be stormy nice soup will probably taste pretty good but that's for tomorrow um let's see patty we are using the arteza color pencils oh tracy welcome to our coloring family thank you for becoming a member you now have access to unless you did before well you got an orange red orange or green orange yeah, you've been crap what color do we start with on pencils i think red is the first pencil okay so tracy you've you've been here before but now you have emotes thank you here we go <laughs> the emotes Tuesday a.m. is grocery pickup. We actually are lucky enough. We are able, because of the town we live in, uh, we are able to get our groceries delivered. So we haven't had to the grocery store, go to the grocery store, or do any grocery pickup in ages. So, um, yeah, it's been really nice. I mean, they forget things occasionally, and there's definitely, you know, you run a risk with somebody else doing the shopping, but it beats out having to actually go to the grocery store. All right, uh, unicorn purple. Blender. Go. Okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna grab our green again. I want to add a little bit. Yes, she did. Patty found the Doctor Who tees. It was so awesome. Little little tins with Doctor Who on them. Okay. Bit of that green. I mean, I know it's just a red and white dress, but you know, adding more colors helps to give it, you know, a bit more depth. Tad more. Tad more. All right, let's do the collar here. Uh, so we have elephant gray again. Kind of a warm gray. Tardis tins, yeah, they're little, they're little Tardis tins. It's super cute. And white. And let's actually add a little bit of our green here up under the collar. There we go. A okay, blender. Go. All right, let's zoom out a bit. I can show you kind of what we're doing. I know it's super bright. Give me a second. There we go. That's coming along. Cat! Thank you so much, Cat, for that super chat. Can we get some hypes in chat for Cat? Because she is so awesome. Oh, threw in a microwave, microwave uh, teacup there for you. Exclamation point. Hi, thank you so much, Cat. Uh, excuse the newbie question. Is this one of your. Oh, wait, wait, scroll up. Hold up. Uh, what are your drawings you're coloring? If so, I'd love to see a gorgeous paper doll to, to display it. Aw, thank you, Teresa. And yes, it is one of mine. And actually, that has been suggested multiple times. Um, here's my problem, though. I can't drop people. And they just, I, I just don't do them justice. But yes, they're like perfectly set up for paper dolls. Like I could have had all of their arms like in the same position kind of thing. I could see that being a thing. 
but yeah, uh, you can find them on my Etsy store, exclamation point, uh, Etsy. Um, but, uh, Twitch, uh, microwave? It's just the emote, Lazzy. I'm sorry. I need to switch out that emote because I don't use a microwave anymore. I loose leaf tea. Lazzy, I've graduated. I swear. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so these are, uh, in my Etsy store right now. Um, but yeah, I totally could have, like, for instance, the mill dress one probably could have worked because the arms are in a similar position. Um, but yeah, this thing could probably work too. Oh yeah, and I guess this one's the same one. I don't know. It just kind of worked out well, but yeah, they could totally work for paper dolls. They definitely could. Maybe when I get confident enough to start practicing drawing people again. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Hi, Noni. Okay, um, let's do the skirt and then we'll do this. And then oh, it looks like I've got some water on there. Oh, well. Okay, so let's do, I'm skipping this arm for now because we've already done an arm and I want to try and get in more before um, our time is up. Is it strange that now I'm hungry? Not at all, cat. I'm hungry. Oh, like I, I'm probably gonna have a snack when I'm done here. And no, Tanya, I don't know what I'm eating yet. <laughs> Could do the face and neck and hands of these long dresses. It shouldn't be too difficult for one of your artists. Oh, I'm sure. But I think I'd have to redraw the dresses so that they're all in the same position to fit the arms. Otherwise, we'd have to um, draw a different person uh, position for each each shape and truth be told my oldest sister um is an artist also and she's pretty good at drawing people but but yeah i think i have like one person on my etsy and it's like a little fairy but people proportions have always mystified me When you start throwing in the eyes and the nose and the hands. And he's and stuffing. Oh, that sounds really good, cat. Aww. I'm eating leftover chicken alfredo with mushrooms and broccoli. Oh, you guys are making me hungry now. Steve. Steve, if you're watching, I'm hungry now. <laughs> you can blame Tanya. It's all her fault. Oh, for sure, Teresa. Oh, <laughs> hi, Steve. Actually, my daughter told me. Oh, really? <laughs> I will eat when I'm done. <laughs> so you don't want to just chew and make smacking mouth noises? Unless you want to make me a sandwich ready to go for when I'm done. Buddy, stop. <laughs> Buddy, I'll be done in just a little bit, okay? 20 minutes, huh? Hello. All right, why don't you go with daddy? You saying hi? Loves his mommy very much. Yes. Huh? Say, can you see Oh, my... hey, can you tell Joanna? Thank you. Say, color and chat with Joanna. Thank you. Can you say that? Color and chat with Joanna. Thank you. <laughs> she gave me a super chat. Can you say hypes and chat? Hypes and chat. All right, now go with daddy. All right, get out of here. Oh, yeah. All right, no, oh, oh, okay, no more. You're gonna knock the camera. No more. We will play when I'm done. Go on, go with Daddy. Oh, that's so beautiful. I like it. Your sisters. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Exclamation point! Steve, get food. <laughs> oh, nice, Noni. I like it. Hey, I make lots of meals. He does. Steve is very handy. son wants to show what he's done to oh okay very beautiful i love your colors buddy <laughs> oh man the joys of streaming during the day But yeah, tomorrow we are going to be live again, and we're going to finish up that fall hat. At least hope to finish. Hope to finish. We'll see how much I get done. Although I don't know with all this practice coloring, I may do okay. 
officially done. Oh, sorry, Shannon. <laughs> Wait till I stream and the puppies bark at the bottom. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few of your videos of the puppies. They are so cute. It's coming along. It's coming along, chat. I'll definitely finish this up um, off stream and then post it. A little bit later and um i know we still have like 20 minutes left but uh mods if you want to start sharing the link to monia's channel too um that could be handy that way everybody knows where to go when we're done here oh the puppies are trouble today hi is alina what time do you stream tomorrow? Um, I'm going to be live at 8.30 p.m. And in fact, Alexis, if you go to my YouTube channel, I already have it scheduled. So you can click on that one and then set a reminder. <laughs> Thanks so much for Ozzy. No, not the mic wave. Nuga. <laughs> um, you could set the reminder for that particular stream and it will let you know uh, when I am live. But yes, I've already got it scheduled and it is up there on uh, upcoming streams. Same thing with the uh, gold tutorial stream um, this weekend. Um, that will be... Uh... It's so pretty. Aw, thanks. Uh, that will be um, oh, in a little less than a week. All right. I know I'm just doing like light gray here, but we are giving enough to give it, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of shade here. That's fair, Zelina. That's fair. All right. Let's... Grab some white here, blend in these edges, and then we're going to start adding a bit more depth to it. <laughs> I think she was meaning every little, uh, every little noise. Oh, nice, cat. I was snoozing. It was like 3 a.m. for me. We're just kind of smoothing this out a little bit. All right, now we're going to start adding in a little bit of our depth here. All right, so now let's add unicorn purple. And because it's metallic-y, metallic it definitely does come out a little bit gray. It's the tone that we need. I'm not actually totally awake, but didn't want to fall asleep waiting for rigs. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Joanna, are you going to be getting any of this uh, Hurricane Beta that's going to be rolling through? I think you would be. I remember where you're at. Aw, thanks, Mary. Sounds good. I think I'm going to get rid of the microwave emote and make like a Steve emote. A Steve emote would be perfect. <laughs> yes, I know, right? 
Maybe I know we're getting rain in Dallas Fort Worth. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're right along the track for it. Um so we'll be getting we'll be getting some. We're gonna hunker down for a couple days, but it should pass this over without any issue. I mean we're not right on the Gulf, so But how else can I show my displeasure at things? Just the exclamation point lousy one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use the blender pencil here, kind of smooth this out. For some reason that kind of created a bit of a look. All that pencil dust. Oh, awesome, Joanna! Well, I mean, when I was drawing these, like I, like I said before, like I never really had any color palette in mind. I think I was more focused on like the drawing portion of it. But I'm really enjoying how they're all coming together now that I'm actually adding color to them. I like the way Johanna says it's you know the. the Feel like the pictures are unfinished and then when you finally add the color then you know that's when the drawing is finished okay what time is it okay let's go ahead and run our last giveaway and while we do that i'll keep working on the bottom part of the skirt here that way we can get at least some of this in. So let's run our last giveaway for any drawing from my Etsy store. Okay, and let's go ahead and use the word red. Okay, if you want to get in for a chance to win another page from my Etsy store. Um, if you've won today already, this stream in particular, um, don't enter again. Uh, but if you haven't won yet today, just type in the word red and that will enter you um, for a chance to win a page from the Etsy store. Oh, hi, Sammy. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and do 140. Let that run for a sec while I add some color here. Like I said, I'll finish the rest of this off stream. Post it a little bit later. Okay, and that will be our last giveaway of the day. So, um, yeah, if you want to, using cherry red now, if you want to get in on that, just type in the word red. eating crumpet for dinner um don't you mean scrumpet sammy i i believe ryan called them scrumpets <laughs> all right and then zero zero one rose red and then let's grab our blender I know I didn't go straight across this because I just want to get at least a portion of it done so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's all done. <laughs> Scrumpets, yes. <laughs> Scrumpet. Yes. A strumpet with a crumpet. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, 
let me just finish with this white and then we will roll to see who our winner is. Uh, it's kind of like, um, Della, it's sort of like our English muffins. Um, it, it's, that's the closest thing to it. At least what we have here. All right. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> well, it's a Luso and oh my goodness. <laughs> that's a strumpet, Sherry. That's a strumpet. Uh, all right. So we're going to go ahead and roll it for a chance to win a coloring page from my Etsy store. I'll count down to 10. Give anybody else a chance to enter. If you want a chance to enter, type in the word red. Type in the word red and that will enter you for a chance to win a page from the Etsy store. All right. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one and roll it shy you won congratulations just shoot me an email uh, and let me know what you would like from the etsy store you can type in uh, exclamation point email exclamation point email all right let's see uh ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so elephant gray. I just want to do this little portion here. We've got just a few minutes left. And then Monia is going to be live. So mods, feel free to share her link again. It's also in the description below. Um, so go ahead and follow her if you haven't. Yeah, that is the schedule right there. Thank you, Shannon. Information point Victorian right there. Shannon's got it. That'll give you the schedule. So we have Monia, and then uh, after that is Belinda to wrap up the weekend. Monia's got a good three hours, and so does Belinda. So even though there's only two streamers left, we still have quite a bit of content coming for you this weekend still. All right. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And unicorn purple. Here. A little bit on the bottom because let's be honest, she does not have a white dress dragging on the ground. Aw, Steve made me a sandwich. Look, he's so handy. Look at that. I'm going to have a tasty sandwich right when I'm done here. Oh, wait, not that. I want to use the blender. Back. Straight across. Okay. Tad bit of green. Shade green, 59. Like I said, we really didn't use that many um, pencil colors today. We have used, yeah, we really haven't used that many. Um, we used 140 i can't remember what the name of that one is and it's torn off and we used cherry red rose red elephant gray unicorn purple jade green plus the white and the blender pencil and that's really all we've been using for this whole thing so uh six seven eight if, if you count the blender and the white we used eight pencils for this whole thing and like i said i'm gonna finish it up um off stream and then i will um let's see should i do that darker Maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I'll finish it up and get that. Now we'll do it lighter and get this posted. Um, wine red. Thank you, Shell. Yes, wine red. That's what that was. Um, so, yeah, everyone. Let's see. First of all, thank you to everyone who has been here. And thank you to Suzanne for subscribing. For Kat, for your two super chats. Tara Lynn, for your two super chats. Uh, Tracy, thank you for becoming a member. And Joanna, thank you for your super chat. You all are absolutely amazing. And thank you to everyone who has been here. And thank you to everyone who worked so hard to pull together um, all the scheduling and everything for this event. I know it can be 
um, a bit much, but um, I will also be live again um, tomorrow evening where we'll work on our fall hat. I'm going to try and be in the rest of the streams today, but we still have a full weekend. So head on over to their channels, check them out. Um, don't forget to, we've got Facebook, we've got the Instagram, we've got downloads. What kind of sandwich? Oh, oh, sorry, Tanya. Um, looks like turkey and lettuce and cheese and mayo. Pretty, I'm a, I'm a pretty simple eater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so thank you everyone for being here and, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next chats. Okay. Links for everything you need are in the description below, as well as the mods have been sharing them. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I will see you all a little bit later. All right. Thanks for being here.